Voyager sits at the focal point of a tangled wreck of wires, switches, power packs, and glimmering lights. Outside bugs buzz as the sun creeps up through the unmistakable morning sky. They haven't even been sure the computer would accept a target date so far in the past, because they are not explorers or historians. But the most important readings of the current date, time, and their target year are confirmed on the screen in front of them. This young adventurer first entered the pod four and a half billion years ago. However, a scientist having gone through their time on Earth, concentrating on the historical backdrop of the Earth perusing the stones and fossils, and on the historical backdrop of the Earth perusing the stones and fossils, and envisioning past universes, the time machines at long last offered a chance to see them with their own eyes to encounter the air, the sea, and the existence frames firsthand. We're beginning here in the muggy Western Australian air. They reason that they have the most obvious opportunity with regards to tracking down strong ground at their objective. Flicking changes to start the boot-up succession, they twofold check the deadline by and by four and a half billion years, ought to take them right to the start of our planet's story. Will they and the layers of metal and glass that stand among them, and the tearing inlet of time, even can make do on the early Earth? Life didn't colonize land until the Earth was very nearly 4 billion years of age. So on the off chance that you were going for a walk in excess of a long time back, safeguarding your security would presumably be the keep-going thing at the forefront of your thoughts. Interestingly, heavenly nurseries developed to become globular star bunches, which themselves attract together the and start to turn straightening into a plate and drawing out the distinctively bending arms of a winding cosmic okay. system. The new star before long develops to an unobtrusive size orange-yellow sun encompassed like the whole cosmic system toward miniator by a whirling plate of gas and residue. As gravity draws the particles inside that circle together, they develop to stones to stones, and they end to rough, frosty, and gassy universes that proceed with their rowdy understanding pivots. There is an atmosphere there, but it is only a thin layer of hydrogen and helium. The unclouded sky has a slight blue tint that is offset by an orange glow from the dark ground. Everything is sharp and precise. There is no water or air sufficiently significant to balance rocks, and the continually moving surface breaks and circuits broken basal to new and overhead. Interestingly, heavenly nurseries develop to become globular star groups, which themselves attract together and start to turn smoothing into a plate and drawing out the naturally bending arms of a winding cosmic system. Furthermore, in the third such circle, situated around 150 million kilometers from the youthful sun, is a rough world that will ultimately. Thus, as the time machine decelerates to a stop, the Voyager opens their eyes onto the Hadean Earth to track down it just as unpleasant as its namesake. Everything is sharp and precise. There is no water or air sufficiently significant to balance rocks and the continually moving surface breaks and circuits broken basal to new and overhead. At the point when the time machine eases back again moving toward the new date of 3.5 billion bis, maybe it is showing up on an altogether unique planet, where before the sky had been faint and ritzy, even in the day, it is currently murky blue, even orange in parts. In any case, the container's instruments really register a temperature around 30 degrees Celsius, not so not quite the same as the sweltering climate our explorer abandoned in Australia. The water ends up being an exceptionally wonderful temperature for swimming, however is somewhat more acidic than the expanses of the cutting-edge time. The sky over the interminable blue span doesn't appear to be excessively unique from the skies of the cutting-edge Earth. In the meantime, the thickness of air particles inside 100 kilometers of the surface disperse the blue frequency of the sun's white light turning the whole daytime sky blue. Carbon-bearing atoms fill the hole left by the shortfall of oxygen making up nearly 10-15% to 15 of the air. And these are to blame for many of the strange things Earth that happen in this ancient world. Until the Earth was First, carbon dioxide makes the oceans old. acidic. So, if you in the water, it, carbon dioxide gas transforms into carbonic acid, which raises the and accelerates the chemical erosion of the exposed on ocean floor. By intrusions these carbon-rich particles lives. are likewise the wellspring of just the extraordinary cloudiness that colors the upper skies with a light orange tone when light from the sun strikes the... 
For the first time, stellar nurseries grow to become globular star clusters, which Methane themselves draw dioxide together and, and begin to rotate, at the flattening point into of the a disk and drawing more, out the characteristically curving the arms life, of a spiral galaxy. It is likewise galaxy. the carbon dioxide and, thus, and methane in the air Milky Way that tackles this obvious catch-22 of a heat and humidity. Despite the weak years ago, sun, many generations of stars of carbon -rich have already lived and died, are strong and the initial flurry of new star births within the galaxy the has tailed radiation off to a trickle. The earth, and yet, it near the in a surface, fragmented and curving arm tossed from the galactic center, of one such late come thus, sputters this into life in the heart of a nebula sky filled truly with the heavy elemental shrapnel from other long-distance stars. Air. The new a piece of the explorer yearns to, to dump their toes in the warm waters that lap against the container's windows. Surrounded, like the However, with practically no breathing gap, they can't disc gamble of breaking dust. the seal that is protecting them. Draws the particles These within mediations that disc were essential together, since they Mars grow has recently to pebbles, to 1% of the climate that Earth does. So the and gassy worlds that continue their unruly the ruling rotation. Frost reigns among these newborn worlds as they jostle orbits, grappling for dominance among the clutter of planetary detritus. And so it time, so it remains for as much as a...